Hello everyone and welcome back to the sixth tutorial on actually the sixth part in this tutorial of how to model a kitchen. So um, let's continue. Uh, in this part we are going to model a uh, highland kitchen uh, but uh, at first uh, if you like to render this kitchen out just to see how it looks um, without any colors uh, go over this icon over here display render setting okay click on it and when you uh, at first uh, open it you probably will be in Maya software okay here render using Maya software so switch first to mental ray or in any case uh, if you have V-Ray or something else uh, you can use it but because I'm using now mental ray so uh, that will be the case. Um, mental ray um, at the common tab. Uh, scroll down until you uh, get to the image size tab. Here at the preset, change it to uh, maybe HD 720. Okay. Um, switch to the quality tab. Here where it says ray trace uh, scan line quality. Uh, change the max sample level to three. Okay, so uh, also go over in direct lighting and here where it says physical sun and sky, uh, click on create. That will create a light setup for our scene. Now, I suggest you create some plan. Okay, so click on the plan and scale it so that will be our floor. Just for now, we can now. Uh, feel free to maybe manipulate this light setup okay th this is our, our light it's directional light and you can uh, just uh, rotate it a bit not much okay and here you have this um, safe title no sorry maybe yeah I think it's yeah film gate okay so here's the film gate that way you know um, what inside your uh, what will be in the render view okay after you render this so that way you know this is what the camera is going to shoot so that way you can uh, focus okay and let's take a shot uh, here is the um, render uh, button so click on this once and just wait uh, okay that could take about a minute so this is how it looks uh, <clears throat> yeah I think it's looked great uh, obviously if you watched uh, the uh, Facebook fan page of mine uh, I already already rendered this out so you will have a clue on uh, what are you doing um, yeah that that looks perfect for me I don't know what you think but I hope you like it uh, well you must like it it's something you've done so whatever will be the situation in your case I hope you like it um, okay, so from what I re can recall is uh, we created um, a layers, so you can also take the light setup and create a new layer from it. So you can choose it, and if I didn't told you already, you can choose uh, whatever object it will it will be and uh, assign it to a new layer. So this is the second button. Okay, so just click on it, and it will all the objects that have been selected will assigned into this layer. So this is layer number three, and if I will, uh, okay, somehow it didn't. So let's just add selected objects, and now we can use it. Not sure what was the problem, but uh, apparently I see lots of bugs in uh, Maya 2030. So it's not really my problem, it's just an issue that uh, I need to 
learn how to live with um, so until the folks of Autodesk will fix all those bugs uh, probably I will bring it back to 2012 so it's much more comfort to work with uh, application that uh, has been totally fixed alright so as I told you we are going to continue with an island kitchen so um, <clears throat> let's uh, start with a polycube okay and I'm going to scale it like so and make it something like this okay you can move it so you will have a free way to like going around it and okay so leave just a little bit space and then make it thinner um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my kitchen here the first part we made this one in order to uh, set my thickness of this uh, highland base because this is going to be the base only so I will try to use it uh, it's better to switch to four view that way you can see it better and then go to front view so now if I will put it somewhere here okay see I'm trying to rely on my other part of the the other part we just built and then right click on my object choose vertices then I'm choosing those vertices and using the move tool in order to set the upper uh, okay so that's fine um, tap on FA to bring it back to object mode and then switch back to perspective view now that's fixed so we can continue uh, let's bring it back over here now right click choose face choose this face and extrude it now wh while you're extruding it um, first we are going to use uh, tap once on one of those cubes and catch the middle one and hold it and drag to open it like so okay so not much just try to do your best to do something that will be a little bit outside and then click on extrude again and bring it up now uh, we need to be at the same height as this kitchen part so let's switch back to four view again and to the front view again okay now see this here this part is picking out I'm going to use it like the following line okay and bring it as much as I can to the same height uh, after that we will extrude it again and then we will make it at the maximum height of this part so bring it back to perspective view and now we are extruding it at the same way we did at first and yeah now we are going to extrude it again up now again for view okay and this is the maximum height we need uh, uh, somewhere here <clears throat> that's fine alright so tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode and I think that this is a very big highland kitchen part so make sure you know what are you doing uh, yeah that's that's good maybe here not really know where to put it but 
I guess early, uh, later on it will be fine. <coughs> okay, so now uh, we're going to use maybe. Uh, yeah, let me see first. Um, I want to do something. I want to do some shelves on it to make it uh, look more interesting. So maybe at first I will. Uh, Mm, let me see. Yeah, let's let's do something like this. Let's hold down the shift, right click at the same time, insert edge loop, and we are going to insert one edge loop over here. Okay, but you can see that this edge loop is again like um, like at the first part tutorial. It's not straight because of uh, this extrude we made to the corners. So. Um, we need to, after we created this line, edge loop, we are going to use the scale tool in, or no, scale tool in order to fix this problem. So make sure you do it precisely as it should be. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, now tap on F8, and now we can uh, do something like this. We can choose uh, this edge and hold down the control and at the same time click on right click on your mouse and again edge ring utilities and to edge ring and split and do the same over here and over here now we can make draws over here so let's catch all those but you need to make sure you go over edit mesh and uncheck this keep faces together just by clicking on it and choose extrude now all those faces will react as individual pieces and you can use uh, yeah I just tapped once on those and catch them and now I will try to adjust uh, equal frame size to each draw so yeah that's nice and then you can do something more interesting and it's like to catch only the frames of those draws uh, yeah yes yes Okay, now before we continue, go over Edit Mesh and choose Keep Faces Together. Okay, and then we are going to extrude them a bit out so they it will look like this. Yeah, that's fine. And now let's choose all our faces, extrude them, tap once on one of those cubes, bring it like so make it thinner and maybe wider okay and extrude them out about so now tap on F8 um, in this case uh, at the other side I probably want to make a big one shelf draw so um, I'm going to extrude all the faces together as they were one part see like this and then I will catch all the all the frame see this is the difference between keep faces together or not because when I chose uh, not to keep faces together uh, I could uh, uh, make each one of those faces like a separated uh, faces but while it's uh, keep faces together they all act like one piece while I'm selecting them all okay so um, I hope you understood this uh, let's do this frame of the, this draw like this and we will create only one handle for it so you can understand where it goes it's like a pulling draw with uh, shelves on it so 
uh, I don't know I've seen I had a chance to see things like that uh, all right now the other uh, thing I want to do is creating some uh, uh, place to uh, keep my uh, uh, wine bottles or something okay and I already made this uh, the same picture I talked about so I teach you how to do this uh, first 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 um, yeah we are we are going to do this easy way so hold down the shift choose uh, at the same time right click on your mouse insert edge loop and let's create edge loop uh, you know what no let's not use edge loop hold down the control right click edge ring to split and to edge ring and split uh, yeah but you need to choose uh, first an edge so yeah that's fine um, now use the scale tool to bring it to the center so it will be straight okay that's fine yeah that's fine um, again choose this edge hold down the control edge to ring and split and to edge ring and split now it's straight uh, let's choose those edge to ring and split that will be straight also so now uh, yeah, we can do maybe more. Let's see how it, how much. Uh, yeah, edge to ring and split, and that's that's that looks nice. Edge to ring and split. Now I would like to <coughs> maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe cut it to two also. I think that's too much. You know what? That's too much. So I will undo a few of the extra <coughs> lines I made here. And maybe I will use only those faces. <coughs> okay. So let's choose those faces. And again, this time we are not using keep faces together. So uncheck this and extrude it. So now tap one some ones of those cubes catch the middle one and make it look like a square all right so that's okay now let's bring them inside like so uh, you can use more the path for that um, that's good Mm. Now, if you really like to make it look interesting, maybe you would like to give it some angle like this, like bring it uh, that way. So that could be nice, but just make sure you didn't overlapping uh, too much. Okay, like I'll show you what I mean. Like, don't go like this. Okay, that's too much. Uh, that way that's fine um, you always need to think what will be there at the other side so leave some space for uh, any other future things that is going to be added there um, now let's do something here about those um, let's let's add edge loop okay so I'm going to head edge loop over here okay and over here I'll try to make them uh, equal on the size because those are going to be shelves and also I don't want all those extra lines so what I'm going to do is choose a borders so 
first I'm going to uh, hold down the control and choose all this area so that way I forgot about all those extra lines okay sorry again I'm going to choose unselect those okay so those will be stay marked and then press delete okay so now I don't have them now I choose this and double click the other one shift double click the other one and unselect those and delete the rest because we don't need it to be in our uh, here okay so it's not necessary it's kind of uh, ruining the geometry later on when you would like to add text or it could be a mess because of those extra lines so just for letting you know uh, yeah, I'm trying to make it equal now I'm catching these faces and these faces and choose extrude and use the blue as always for uh, bring it outside now that's nice that looks nice but you can maybe make them uh, completed here like uh, you know like they're attached together so let's undo that and the, or the only problem that made this it's that I didn't kept the faces together so let's keep the faces together and then extrude it again okay so now that looks nice and what even more nice about it is that it acts like <coughs> they don't get to extruded like equal okay so that gives a nice shape so it's not always uh, a mess you can use those uh, options as for design I don't know it really depends on what you are trying to achieve but I think it looks it looks good okay um, those shelves looks cool um, now the other, the other part will be to maybe add a sink also over here because uh, in most cases we have sink also in uh, islands so choose uh, let's take this uh, edge let's choose one of those edges hold down the control edge to ring and split and to edge ring and split so that's giving us a nice cut here and now I'm going to do the same here and this time I need to uh, make this line straight in here so I'm using the scale tool and that's fixing our problem now another edge to ring and split here again use the scale tool mm. yeah and you know what maybe it's more comfort to make the sink over here because here the shelves are like quite uh, you know they don't give us uh, good standing position in front of uh, a sink so maybe I will create it here so uh, yeah let me see let me first see yeah that's that's fine you know what it's only sink so let's create it here uh, like so now make sure that um, you make it somewhere that the sink can go inside so you need to check the borders this is the you see here it's like if I will take it inside it will that here it's fine but make sure just that the sink is going inside inside our uh, highland and not here because of this picking out table um, yeah 
Now, um, same with like as for the other sink, uh, I need to extrude it first until here, okay? So, and then extrude it again to about so, and again a little bit. So I creating that way I'm creating those extra edge loops. You see inside, I'm talking about those edge loops and these edge loops. So now when I will bevel those, uh, sorry, oh my god, it's very sensitive. So okay, edge loops. Bevel. Now we beveled it, and let's see. Let's open, expand our attribute editor, and sorry, and add more segments. So now you see it looks good. Also, let's catch those, these, and these, and edit mesh bevel and add more segments. Alright, so now we have a sink also for this island and you may want to create some extra doors like this one so I suggest you just first um, create another offset okay so go over let's do something like this let's hide this layer okay because uh, oh, I needed to add the handles also, so let me first see, yeah, those handles will go together with the closet doors, so first add selected, ob no, 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 choose the other one, and add selected objects to layer number two, um, yeah, and now let's choose those. No, first go over med edit mesh. Sorry, sorry about it. <clears throat> Edge. Choose these. No, don't choose. Just go over edit mesh. Mesh. <laughs> mesh. <laughs> Offset ed edge loop. And oh, okay. We have some problem here with this one. So let's undo this. Uh, because I've created, uh, I already messed up with this um, area, okay, so these are not equal to this side, so I need to uh, do it in other way, so maybe I just uh, do, no, let's choose faces, No, oh, you know what? Let's choose those faces and then extrude them. Now I can somehow create the same frame like so, you see? And make sure the frame is like the same. And now I can create here the same frame. So I'm going to relay on the same frame size. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, let's choose all the frames, faces. That's wrong. That's also wrong. So do it manually, one by one. Choose only those frames. Sorry, undo, undo, yeah, keep selecting, and let's bring them a little bit outside. All right, and <clears throat> now what you can do is actually <coughs> bring back the other parts and choose just two handles. Duplicate them, duplicate the, uh, those handles, and choose general tab, group them, 
modify center their pivot first and let's rotate them in 180 degrees so here minus 180 and let's attach them to these doors I guess yeah let's use our uh, top view to see it better uh, yeah here that's okay by the way it's the same height and that looks good okay so um, I think we can uh, do many things uh, in order to uh, design this island but uh, the only thing that I'm concerned about is how you take this island now and only bevel the corners so uh, try to try to be some more uh, uh, more more what more I'm not sure well be more creative creative and try to uh, make it look better um, so uh, I think that's it for this tutorial um, really uh, be open to creativity and do some nice and beautiful things with it um, don't worry always try to keep um, things like like save them before you do any things that can uh, be a little bit uh, strange and then ruin your work so save it before you do uh, things new things um, as you can see I have a problem here so uh, maybe I'll leave it like this I don't know uh, but uh, because of this corner here uh, I'm getting um, a little bit problem to bevel it so uh, I'm not sure what to do right now with this but uh, I will work on it and tell you how it goes how it went so bye for now hope you like this tutorial don't forget to save it always save another copy and make sure what you do is saved properly because uh, you can uh, lose it for good so just save it just save it okay bye for now